Let's dive right in and show you how to make an animated GIF with an architecture photo. I've got two images open here. These are size for web, so they're about 2,000 pixels long on uh, the long side. I'm going to select all, copy, and paste. Now in this uh, file, I've got two layers. I'm going to double click on the background layer to make that uh, unlocked. And now I'm going to go to Window, Timeline, Create Frame Animation. Click on the hamburger menu, make frames from layers. Hold Shift, click both of these down here, uh, and then switch this to one second. You can do uh, 1.5 seconds if you click other or select any amount of seconds you want. But to make this just loop at one second intervals, uh, you can press play and stop to test it out. That's the way it's gonna look. And then you go to export and save for web, or that would be command option shift S on a Mac. Make sure you click GIF and save. So we're just gonna save this to the desktop as our example. And that is your animated GIF. Now let's back up a little bit and see how we made this in our layered Photoshop file. We'll get rid of this panel here. And here's my Photoshop file. So what have I done? Uh, essentially, I've got my open doors file here. Uh, so I've got my ambient frame, all my flash frames. And then important, I've got my open door fixes here. So everything that's outside of this area that's gonna be closed later, all of those distraction removals, uh, I'm sorry, the um, everything inside that I'm gonna fix is in there. So you can see all the distraction removal that I've done there. Um, and then I've got a little desaturation layer. We can see right in this area here where I desaturated what's um, desaturated inside that open door area. Then I've got my closed door area. So again, you can see everything that's inside this closed door area has been masked off. I've got ambient and flash layers there. Uh, and then I've got a layer of general fixes here. So this is everything that's outside of that window that's going to um, be universal regardless of whether the doors are open or closed. So a couple of recessed lights and an outlet down here. Uh, and then you can make general fixes on top of that. So I've got a layer of desaturation uh, adjustments for the walls there. I've got a little warming filter just set at 10%. And then a little um, pop of contrast here with a curves adjustment layer. And again, that's going to be uh, general on top of everything, whether the doors are open or closed. Now I can just turn this layer group on and off save one with it open, save one with it closed. And this is a great way to add value to your clients without doing a lot of extra work. Uh, it was not very difficult to mask off that section and just do a couple of extra adjustments on this closed doors. And it certainly didn't take any time at all to do the animated GIF. Hope that was helpful.